happens very, very much now. So the teachers in the school, uh, thank you to all uh, principals and uh, uh, other teachers in the schools. Uh, they have to be us was in safe hands all along. Indeed, uh, you were very committed uh, to educating the children in their religious knowledge. And that, uh, again, is a very essential part uh, in uh, an educational system. That the spiritual part uh, is developed alongside the intellectual and the physical and all the other aspects of education. So, uh, in uh, uh, relation to that, most of our schools, I think most Catholic schools, are on the patronage of a particular saint. And in this case, we have St. Carl looking down on us and looking after us and uh, praying God's blessing on us uh, all the years. Uh, then, too, so we had called well over on the other side. And in recognition of uh, both schools, the new management and the new school will go as uh, the uh, school karma. Uh, the world of the school. Where is the world of the school? The of the karma. And uh, that's uh, preserving, if you like, the old tradition and yet we're in a whole new situation. Uh, thank God uh, for uh, the work that was done here uh, and above all, uh, we'll ask a blessing on uh, everybody. Uh, may God bless uh, the teachers uh, who uh, had a Christian ethos uh, in, the, in mind all the time and were so generous in the time in preparation for sacraments and uh, everything else. Uh, we can ask God to bless them and all the teachers, parents, sponsors, everybody, uh, above all uh, the staff, the ancillary staff as well. Uh, all of them played their part and uh, everything uh, was in order uh, and uh, we pray God uh, will bless those uh, who had their shoulders to wheel all the years and uh, we pray uh, that uh, uh, Mary too uh, will ever be on our lips uh, in rosaries or whatever other prayer to Mary and that we'll invoke and celebrate St. Cormac so, uh, each year and uh, we'll invoke them uh, in, in, the, in the sense that we are under their patronage under a new uh, system uh, over on the other side I think it's Bally Colin here, is it? What is the girl's school? Is it Townsend? Whatever it is uh, nobody too sure, I think. The good way to tell it too, but uh, we are uh, a moving house, uh, and everyone knows uh, how difficult that is. Uh, but above all, in a school, you have to uh, protect everything uh, that is uh, used in uh, educational uh, as educational uh, helps and uh, you have to uh, pack them up as Martin said uh, I, I, I love the way Martin could address the small ones and the adults and bring a bit of humor into it as well uh, thank you very much uh, to Martin and his present staff uh, for uh, cooperating in this move uh, it's a big move for them and uh, I'm sure uh, that uh, the, the few weeks experience that they had here together, I'm sure that will be important and has been important for them and uh, that it gels the whole, uh, the whole business together uh, before ever a move takes place. So exchange is no robbery, let's move uh, with uh, uh, uplifted hearts to a new situation and look forward uh, to uh, years of uh, blessedness and uh, we uh, ask Almighty God uh, to bless you all now is our final meeting in uh, for uh, May God Almighty bless you all and protect you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit.
we're more or less finished. We're all getting a little bit edgy, a little bit jumpy here at the front, aren't we? Um, now, just for parents, again, I'm delighted to see you all here this morning. You're all so very, very welcome. I just, again, I want to reiterate the thanks from both Jim and myself to all of the parents that have helped out, not just last Thursday and Friday and Saturday with the move, but anybody who's been involved in the background over the last couple of weeks, couple of months. Um, it's all the little things that make a big difference because it was left up to teachers just to move everything. We'd get it done, but it would take time. Everything was done here in a matter of days, to be quite honest. Now, we're going to take the children. I have a little treat got for you. I went looking for um, a pipe. We're going to line up at the gate. Yeah. Take your time, please. In your classes. So we'll start off with the most important class in the school of the junior infants. <laughs> Wait a second, please. So you line up with the okay? We're going to go down to Skullmura and Miss will take over from her down there. We have, I think we have somebody picked out who we want to be the first person to open the door in the new school, Skullmura of Miss Cormac. But just before we do that, I just want to say to parents, you're all very welcome this morning if you want to come in and have a quick look at Skullmura. But just be mindful of the fact that we're going to try and get the kids settled as quickly as we can. And we're going to have an official opening night in maybe the second or the third week of November. So we'll be having a night for you all then. Sit down for a moment, I'm not finished. <laughs> second last thing I want to do is a bunch of lads that we've had here in the boys' school. Now the girls can not be yours for a minute. We just want to say to you fellas, you've been, if you like, the pillars of this school. You've been the most important part of this school. And what I want you fellas to do for yourself now is to give yourself three cheers as the school closes. Hip it! Hip it! And now I want all the pupils of Skull Wirra Ogus Cormac, which is the boys and the girls, to give yourselves all three quick cheers. Hip it! Hip it! Hip it! Hip it! Hip Will somebody get Connor Troy a new hat? Because he's wearing a Leeds United hat. <laughs> Chatting on the yard the last few days. We're not sure what division they're in, so we're not Connor. They're not too high up. I'd have them Liverpool by the end of September. Um, okay, well, I told you about Manchester yesterday. So we're just going to get the kids to line up. Uh, bit by bit. And once again, thank you very much. Just me. I try to be but I know that's because.